So for today, we're going to be talking about the seasonal challenges and Eververse. I usually do this every week. Uh, I am currently streaming right now on twitch.tv slash fixtony. I have it in the screen right now. So if you guys want to come and check it out and talk and whatnot, uh, I'd love and appreciate that. But let's get started with the actual challenges. Wayfinders Voyage uh, 6. Use the Wayfinders Compass to compete, complete Wayfinders Voyage 6. Also, defeat scoring anywhere in the system. Powerful scoring in the alignment activity grant bonus progress. This is pretty funny considering last week it said Hive, but it's actually fucking scorn. So that's pretty funny. Astral Telemetry 3. Gather parallax trajectories from playlists or astral alignment activities or from ascendant anchors found on destinations and in the Shattered Realm activity. This one you'll get over time. I I had it completed already when I when I first log into the game. This one, uh, obviously, just play the activity. Like I don't even know why I have to say that. Solar fusion power. Uh, defeat combatants with fusion rifles and solar melee attacks. Combatants defeated in Shattered Realm activity will grant bonus progress. So obviously, you're gonna want to complete this in the Shattered Realm, and that's really hit. Like you could use literally what I have on right now, which is. Uh, Cartesian coordinate and 1000 voice. If you don't have 1000, then just use Cartesian. If you don't have that, literally any fusion rifle because it doesn't have to be solar. And as for the melee, I'm using Gunslinger right now, but you can literally use anything else. Uh, Titans and Warlocks, you know your thing as well. So, yeah, that one's not too hard, at, like at all. Just do your job. For the for the next one, it's Advanced Layliner. Complete rounds of astral alignment and install paracausal batteries. This one's not hard. Just do the activity. Honestly, these are all just do what you what you usually do. Just add a weapon here and or complete alignment rounds. Not hard at all. Apex armor, master work a piece of armor. Unfortunately, this does not work uh, retroactively because I've already done that like three times this season. So uh, that's unfortunate. I should have I should remember they usually have this. But if you don't have any any materials, then just do a bunch of nightfalls, and you don't even you don't even have to do like the high level ones. Just do like the hero version, and then you'll get enough of the not shards, but the the one below shards. Let me just show you. You'll get enough of these enhancement prisms. And then once you have like around 50, I would go to whoever sells uh, armor stuff and then just buy an ascendant shard. It's not that expensive. It's only 10 enhancement prisms, 50,000 glimmer, and uh, I think like 100, 100 legendary shards. So this was not expensive. Unless you're starting out, then I don't even know why you're worrying about this bounty considering you should. There's a lot more stuff to be worrying about as a newer player. <clears throat> and... Display of Dominance, acquire the Crucible Ornament for Ascendancy. This one's not hard. Uh, just depending on if you don't like PvP or not, and if you've already gotten the weapon, you will, you will have to reset it and go back again. So it depends. I did it through PvP just because I play a lot of PvP. I actually like PvP in this game, unlike some other people. So this one may be hard or may be annoying to you. If that's the case, just do the Vanguard one, or if you're weird, Gambit. But again, the Crucible one's super, super easy. Especially this week, considering we have bonus progress on PvP right now. So, yeah. And then last but not least, Sling the Stone. Wait, yeah. Uh, sling the Stone, Stagger, Pierce, and Disrupt Champions. This was not hard if you do a lot of Nightfalls, and this is going to come out come to you naturally. You don't even have to do Nightfalls. You can just do the the Lost Sectors, the, the high-level ones, and that will still count. Literally anywhere where there's Champions, you'll most likely complete this. So, this one's not even that crazy. Let's look at Eververse for this week. And for this week, she is gonna have if the game ever loads. For this week, she has it's over the Queen's Guard, which I'm not a big fan of this skin, but it looks really cool. I'm not saying it's not cool, it's just that I like the skin I already have for it. Uh Cabal Entrance and Hazard Pay, which Yo, that looks good. That looks pretty good. I'm I'm happy I got it. It definitely looks super cool. And then for the free stuff, we get drum roll, which I haven't even seen. Okay. Uh, the Nemean strides, so the boots are available for each class, which is really cool. So definitely pick those up if you're getting them weekly. Uh, the orb, orb weaver shell, which is super cool. I might actually scoop this up because I have a fallen themed hunter. And uh, this is obviously fallen, so I might do it. Uh, Immoderate Splendor, which I've never been a big fan of this skin. I'm not going to lie to you guys. 
or this this thing uh another emo bad dog which is a weird choice to sell but i mean whatever i personally don't like this skin but okay and then aramis projection and then last but not least for the shaders we got buffer overflow which gives this really copperish look which i like uh like a very light copper i really like this skin which really or this shader looks really cool uh vertigris which it's not a bad shader to be quite honest uh carbon blood which i actually love this shader it's super fucking good if you're into like red and black and don't mind being called an edge lord and last but not least rustberry which i like the color of this i just don't like the fact that they chose white for the cloth and i will never not hate that and that's pretty much it traveler's wake effects uh, illicit transmit effects which is this the one i'm thinking yeah it is and then uh eldritch effects and that's pretty much it yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i i'm not gonna lie i'm happy that they're at least selling the denemian strides because i have a build idea for for my titan and now we just wait for the chest piece and the helmet which i think the helmet looks super fucking dope on a lot of characters let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you have any questions comments said let me know in the comments below i'll definitely answer them these are not really hard the reason i haven't completed all of these is because i've been playing another game which i will talk about in a separate video but yeah be safe guys and i'll see you guys later